Hi, it's Michaela. I'm going to do a Dutch pour here. You can see I had very high aspirations <laughs> with all these colors. I thought I could do a gradation of blue to red and purple, but it, it actually didn't work at all. So I decided to show the whole process of how I basically in my mind failed and then salvaged half of it and sort of started over. So here I'm just laying down the base paint, which is Amsterdam titanium white with water about 40 to 50%, depending on your humidity and whatever factors. It's not an um, exact thing. You can check out Molly's Artistry's video for mixing. Um, this was an Amsterdam cobalt ultramarine blue and then that was carmine red Amsterdam Windsor blue Amsterdam permanent blue violet I love this color um, I guess more of the ultramarine cobalt those colors aren't that important because they didn't give me a good result um, so basically I'm just adding a bunch of colors in sort of a line of puddles. That's the uh, Windsor and Newton, it's a darker red permanent rose. And um, this is olive green light. So um, yeah, I was trying to create sort of a line of colors by puddling things in a row and then I don't think it worked very well so um, this is Amsterdam's copper and Windsor Newton gold so you can see it's quite a big puddle of paint in the end it's a 12 inch canvas which is basically as big as I normally go just because it's an enormous amount of paint even for a 12 inch so I basically swipe my paint over with the blow dryer torch and then I got some really nice cell action but when I blew it out you know, this is what I got. All the cells disappeared and I felt like the left side, the red and blue side, didn't go at all with the, um, the violet, copper, and olive green side. So I mess with it a little and try to... And I wait too because the paints change when you let them sit. So I wait to see if some effects start to show up. And I just felt like there was a big problem there for me with basically half the canvas. And I didn't, even half the canvas of paint is a lot of paint in my mind. So um, I just wanted to salvage this. And I did this um, some weeks ago and I didn't even think of publishing the video because I didn't like the painting that much, probably because I had worked on it for quite some time and was a little bit sick of it at the end. But I posted it on my Instagram and um, also on my Facebook and people really liked this painting. so. I decided, well, I have the video, I'll just show how I did this, how I came up with the end result. So now I'm starting over with um, puddling. This is the Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. This is most 
the winds are blue because I generally try and then this is going to be the olive light green by Amsterdam I usually try to mix the two brands a little the winds are gold because that gives me more cell effects and now I'm, I wasn't sure how to do this without ruining the other half so that's why I only added a little bit of white and I actually managed to do that swipe without ruining the right side and then my blow dryer is quite big so um, it's not so easy again to do that left side without ruining the right but this I felt was nice and something I could work with most of my Dutch pours I end up just doing the um, like a base like a swipe with the blow dryer and then I blow it out with my mouth to get the composition that I like so I didn't like those cells there in that corner I just don't like cells on the outer parts of my um, paint flow I guess you would call it so that's just my preference So I'm just going to let you watch the rest of this and I just keep tweaking it, working on it until I got a composition that I liked. So here it is, I really like the overall look in the end. I'm going to take you down for a close up so you can see all the beautiful metallics and cells in the center. Also I misspoke, uh, there is no Amsterdam Windsor Blue, I meant just Windsor Blue. I'll list all the colors in the description box. And so stay tuned for the zoom in and the dried result, hope you enjoyed the process. So here you see the painting while it's still wet and the metallics combined with the other colors beautifully and created all these cool effects and cells in the center and then you can see there's a lot of depth in the colors and the flow is really nice so now that I have some perspective and it's been a week or two, I think a couple of weeks, but um, I really like the overall look. Actually, I, I love this painting now, so um, it's going to show the dried result in just a sec here. And this is dried with two coats of high gloss varnish by Windsor & Newton. And the colors are still super vibrant. You can see a little shimmer in the metallic there in the sun. Um, the cells are still there, nothing disappeared um, during drying. And the edges are also really nice. I'm very happy with this. So um, I did forget to add that um, I tried to add in some text 
during the video and I made a mistake, so please see the description box for clarification on what I tried to say there. Hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.